Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to set up ADB and your USB drivers for an Android device. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. Uh, it's a program that Google uses to communicate with Android through your computer. Um, most people will never have to use this if you just want to root and get Hero and that type of stuff. Uh, but for people that want to get a little more advanced, a little more technical with their Android device, uh, that's what this is for. So, we'll show you how to set it up in case you want to do that. Okay, so head over to theinlocker.com if you're not already there. Uh, spelled like that. And search for our how to set up ADB USB drivers for Android devices. And we're going to scroll down. And the first step is setting up the SDK. So we're going to download the Android SDK from Google uh, by clicking on this link here. Okay, once we've downloaded the SDK, it should look something like that. We're going to right click it, click Extract Files. And then whatever it has in here, we're going to delete all the way back to the C colon backslash um, or whatever your main drive is called. Most people it's going to be C, right? So just that and then hit OK. OK, now you can go to your C drive once it's done extracting and you should see it right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this file just to make things easier to Android SDK with no space. Okay. Okay, now that we've done that, we can plug in our phone to our USB cable. Okay, now that it's plugged in, we can go to our start menu. And then in the little search bar down here, we're gonna type in CMD and hit enter. And this should bring up our command prompt. Okay, so once you've typed everything in, uh, you type to ADB devices, it should show a serial number next to the word device. And that, if that happens, that means that you've installed ADB correctly, you can go on and start using it. If you don't see a serial number there or it says no devices found, then we can go to the next step to uh, double check and reinstall them. Uh, if you do have this, then you're all set. You can stop right here. Go down to our section three and it shows you some common commands. Um, or you can also search the interrupt for commands that you may want to use. Um, so let's go to uh, the next step in case it didn't work. Okay, if you didn't see a serial number, we're going to reinstall the driver. So, uh, on our site, step one under section two is download USB debug. So you're going to click on that and download and install that. Okay, so now we've installed uh, or downloaded the USB debug. We're going to right click it and just extract to USB debug. That's going to put it in its own folder here. Okay, once we've got it in its own folder, we can double click it and then find the one that has application next to it and we can right click that and run as administrator if you're using Vista or higher. Yes, give it permission. Okay. Now that it's open, you're going to click sort by description and you'll see all the ones that say HTC next to them. We're going to delete all. So click on the top one, hold shift, click on the bottom one, right click and hit uninstall selected devices. You can ask it for sure, click yes. And then just wait for it to uninstall them. Okay, so we did all that with the device plugged in, by the way. We're going to now, now that we deleted the drivers, unplug it and plug it back in. You plug it back in. If you've got uh, Vistor Hire, it should say installing device driver software. You can click that to see and make sure it installs. So the thing to use ADB is, of course, the composite ADB interface. As long as that installs this time, you should be good to go. So we will, again, open the command prompt. And type in the same thing we did before. wait for a serial. Okay, now you should have a serial. If this happens, you're all set and uh, you're good to go.